Hi guys, um, it's a cold night, but I'm testing this new speed app to see how it syncs up with my moto vlogging, so stay tuned. Hey guys hope you're having a nice night oh my goodness i had such a wild time at work this week really needed to unpack and you know let loose some steam so going for a nice night ride um i'm testing out this new writing app um it's a uh, it's called videometer but i also have a speedometer app there so i'm trying to see which one actually works the best so they're running neck and neck um just to have accuracy for the speed i um i like this area beacon falls because it's just pretty it's very scenic and there's very little traffic which is nice you know and i'm i'm not relying on my high beams that much because i know the area ordinarily when i first started riding out here i you know, um, of course, we end up, tend to be more defensive because you have that, you know, you have that sense of awareness around. But um, I know where I'm heading to, so when I'm in the dark, I, uh, I I don't. I used to put the high beams every time, but now, but now I'm now I'm now I'm more aware. And I'm when I'm hitting these corners, I'm not trying to get some knee slide action. I'm <laughs> just taking it easy. Uh, but it's beautiful out here. Um, and a shout out to uh, Pokey GX because you know I basically just gave me a heads up that my videos need to be a little bit longer so I can actually have content that people can follow. So I'm always um, happy to get new input. Um, I'm on 800 miles on this bike, and wow, what did you, you know? With with some small modifications, I added the SC Project exhaust, which definitely gives a little more oomph to it. Um, you know, of course, no sound. I'm not trying to be obnoxious and loud and, you know, <laughs> um, but uh, it's it's nice it's nice to have some you know to, to have some some bass in the uh, in the, in the muffler there the exhaust. Um, I have of course the carburetor, which definitely gives nice low and nice top end really really great um the only thing i'm getting used to of course is the manual choke you have to warm up the bike before you before you really get on you should do that regardless whether it's warm or whether it's cold you see it's so dark here and i just don't want to just plummet into the night you know and just grab throttle and just ride like that it's just it's you know, also this wind is just the strongest thing. So I'm um, picking my battles when it comes to riding. And especially, I don't want to be that offensive. Cops are sitting on the sides of these roads here too. And, um, you know, uh, anything, oh, people passing me on the left here. Um, anything over... Uh, 36 uh, degrees, if, you know, 35, 36 is good. Anything under that, you're dealing with black ice. And I'm not trying to see what kind of traction I have on my tires. And talk about tires, uh, tires are really good. I know I complained about the rear uh, edge, but it, I think that was just a break-in period on it. It really has, I, I don't even notice it anymore. And you get a lean, you get traction, and you can turn pretty well. And I've had, you know, that's that's the thing is that, um, you know, I've, Angie and I have been on the bike, on the back of the bike, and I've had passengers, and it's just been just fine. So I've had no problem riding around. I find it very comfortable. Um, you know, I, uh, I, I have a, a comp system in my helmet that, uh, that I can, you know, I can still hear outside, you know, I can listen to music, audiobooks, anything like that, but I can still be aware of what's going on. Uh, I don't get a lot of wind in my helmet. It's a, it's a, it's, it's 
it's decent. I got a Danbury Power Sports. It's a nice DLT helmet. It's not it's not cheap. You know, I got something that would be safe and you know, I had a modular but I went for a full face. So I just feel safer that way. And I have these great gloves. I'll show you guys later. The gloves are great. They have three settings. So it's mild to medium to very warm. And boy, they keep your hands really warm. I love them. I love them. They're great. And next, um, I would I would have to say, one of the things about this bike is that um, the weight is, is different. Because it has a beefiness to it that is deceiving when you get out on the freeway you get out places where the wind blows you because there's a cavity inside so there's a space inside because they put um they put the battery in the middle most of the stuff in the bike is toward the rear so it, you, you sort of have to get used to how the wind pulls you in a direction but um once you once you once you're tucked and once you sort of you lean into where you're you know riding You'll, you'll find sort of a comfortable nimbleness to it. Whereas in the beginning, it's just, you you, you, you kind of have to get, you know, you have to get accustomed. I, that whole braking thing, I, I don't know. I hear different different sort of philosophies about breaking the bike in, but I believe there's something to it, is that getting everything coordinated and, you know, all the gears and stuff and and um, just, you know, getting them together. And these, this bike is fun. You know, you, you mod and do do what you want. Like I had decals and painted and you know reflective tape so I can see and new hand grips and just little small little aesthetic things like that. The fender eliminator with the nice turning lights. You know, um, definitely nice to have the frame sliders. Not that I'm going to be doing any leaning or anything like that, but it's you know an event that I do dump it. It's great. You know, you have that. You have that feeling of, you know, a sort of, there's little cushion there. Also, aesthetically, it looks amazing. You know, I'm always getting compliments on the bike. I feel a little guilty because the way I hooked it up, it looks a lot more monstrous than it really is. But you know, I don't care. I enjoy it. And um, I'm really enjoying the pickup on it. And it just has, it's just such a blast. Um, you know, I really, I really can't, can't say anything negative about it. Other than um, the weather has just been so horrible that there's just a bunch of inactivity. Having a channel is something that I'm getting used to. Is that before I had a channel, I could make comments on anything. You know, I love anime, I love music, I love fitness, I love watching movie trailers and funny videos about just about anything. You know, I, I, I sometimes get you get pulled into a black hole of just commenting, you know, on different topics and following things. And I don't really like to get into politics and stuff like that. But people will follow you from comments and chase you back to your channels. And that's something that I, I, I cannot believe the dedication that people get to sort of troll you, which I think is mean. But also is I guess once you start motor vlogging and stuff you've got a brand and you kind of sort of protect yourself and you have to think about what you post and you should do that in general as a person but you know what you I had to turn around because you know it's just, I'm, I'm going into nowhere so I <laughs> headed back the other way um, you have to think about what you're going to post because it, you you are dragging your creativity and your brand and sort of the blueprint of, of who you are and you are exposing that when you comment and even if you say something that's critical of someone else because that you know can precede you to the next you know wherever it is and wherever that window is where you're taking your 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 opinions and stuff and they can it can come right back up to your door and you can get somebody hovering over your page saying really cruel mean things or maybe attacking your people so it's it's a, it's a responsibility that i think you know with moto vloggers or anything whether you're baking pies or fixing arcades or doing because i you know i tinker you know i tinker with making the video arcades um modding those and 
You know, I love doing this with the bike. This is sort of a new thing this year, you know. Um, but, you know, there's other other things I'd like to venture and get into. But, you know, I, I, I would, you know, I, I would hate to be, be under a, a sort of social microscope where I start to, you know, be, you know, I, if, as much as people might want to say it, you know, you read the comments and stuff, and, and if people say, you know, hurtful things to you, you're going to retaliate and lash, but then that's your brand, you know, if you want to get to a point where you're, you know, you might become monetized or have a Patreon and stuff like that, you can't be arguing about, you know, someone who taps in the third round or something like that, or, you know, next thing you know, that this guy's talking about your mama, and now you're going to say something and forget about you got a page and you've got subscribers and people that respect your wisdom and patient and input. So, you know, I, I believe that you're projecting positivity into whatever you're doing. That's got to be, that's got to be like the number one thing in your mind when you're doing any of this. You want to create something that's going to be a teachable moment or at least that in entertainment or in some, some fundamental way, you know, and, and, and sort of like, you know, harmony on there because there's already enough negative stuff out here but anyway enough for that i'm on my soapbox what am i talking about um but um back you know back to the back to the bike um it's it's vital i think at least to have enough gear to sort of protect you i've got the boots i've got the pants like i said i mentioned the uh the gloves with three modes you know i like i said i'll show, I'll show you that it's a uh, it's got the mild, it's got the medium heat, and it's got the really hot. You turn them off after a while. And it's got the all-weather jacket, which is great. And that'll keep you protected, at least for the most part. Um, in the summer, I don't know what people do, but they usually have like a mesh or wear like the armored stuff underneath it. I mean, I, I, uh, I would almost say that I see so many people riding around without a helmet or, you know, they're riding around without any gear. And God bless them, but I just uh, I don't I don't feel that confident, you know. And that's just me. So I'm not, and I'm not judging people who are doing that, but you know, it's definitely just not my bag. But uh, you know, I like to, but you know, even going to the store, just always have to have a helmet. I just feel you know, I'm I'm too exposed, and there's no seatbelt, there's no airbag. It's just you on this. It's like being on a horse. You know, you, you want to at least have a saddle or something, you know, just to, to sort of, you know, reinforce that. And I definitely feel better with a helmet. I had to do the shaving cream tip inside of the uh, helmet screen because what ended up happening was I kept fogging up. My breath was getting on the screen and I couldn't see. So I definitely, I definitely had to do that. I had to, had to, had to keep that from fogging up. Sometimes I'll flip it up and then I have a gator and I'll put that over my nose so the air will go in there so I can, I can breathe while I ride. But um, um, I'm looking forward to learning what I can on this bike. I don't know, by summer, who knows? I might even be, you know, by, by the end of spring, you know, beginning of summer, who knows? I might have already grabbed another bike knowing how I am, you know, just to, just to you, know, you can outgrow your bike, you know, but I love this bike. I will definitely keep it. But um, you get to a point where you you push it to its limit to the point where you can only you can only hit something so far to the point where you you want to explore something else. But right now I'm just I'm really enjoying it. I love the look of it. I love the feel of it. 800 miles. It's funny that you know statistically how they break it down. It's still 200 miles of not really being um, broken in. I haven't really redlined it. Um, so that, that's that's really funny that she's still not there so you know we'll get there <laughs> we'll get there i uh i had a uh i had a, a, a moment where i was uh, going down loop 68 and i'll tell you it was just churning out as far as, as speed wise and i got to a point where um this this turn was really deep and I hit the turn probably way faster than I should have. And I'm happy because it was, you know, they call that ego, right? Where I realized that if a car had been in that lane, I would have been 
wrote pizza. And so after that, it really, it humbled me to, to, you know, I don't know about this whole, this trail breaking stuff, but I definitely know about decelerating, you know, to a point and then accelerating through a turn. So sort of, you know, being able to sort of coordinate and do those things. This bike is, is, has, has really good, um, you know, what you could call it's limber, it's dexterous, which is nice. Um, doesn't, I don't think it has like this ABS and stuff like that, but because of the way that the, your front brakes and wheel brake, rear brakes complement one another, you never feel as though you're last minute braking. You always have, you, you, you're, you're prepared while you're getting there, which is, which is really good. I think that's important. Um, it's, it's shocking the pickup is because it can, it, can, it can get away from you. You can be in an area that's a low speed, um, you know, uh, as far as speed limit area, and you will, you'll be going way too fast, and then you realize last minute that, <laughs> that you, you know, you're going 58, 55, you know, you're going about 60, it doesn't feel like it because it's very smooth. I, I haven't had the death wobble. Uh, I will say, just like anything, um, you, you gotta watch out for potholes. You gotta watch out for these grooves in the road that make it very difficult to sort of negotiate your way. It, it, um, what is that target fixation? When you look at an object and you see it, but you don't get out of the way, that can definitely happen in the beginning. And I had to pull myself out of that because I was going over every pothole. I would see it and still riding it. I would get stuck in a groove and be wiggling in it. And, and it, it, it took me it took me a second to get out of my own skin and to see everything on the road and see what I need to see briefly and then sort of, you know, ride through that uh, peripheral sort of barrier and, and get to where I needed to get. But just, you know, it's just so much fun. And... Um, it's just something nice to do. It's nice to know that you can hop in the car, and it's nice to know that you can hop on the bike. And I, I really look forward to that. And um, I hope everyone else is, is enjoying the beginning of this new year. It's been so challenging. Uh, I, you know, I myself, I know this virus is just, just it's, it's just awful. And it's just, you know, it's, it's been, last year was just was ridiculously hard. And just, you just, you know, I mean, just got to a point where it just, I mean, it, it devastated so many people. And I lost friends and you know, people that I knew and that were hit hard from it. And not just, you know, loss of life, but economically and, and depression and, and, and lack of drive and, you know, feeling socially isolated and everything else. And so... I think that's why I throw myself into my hobbies because it's the only way you can sort of feel, you know, like yourself and you get some sort of validation to all this. You know, it's important and reaching out to family and doing whatever you can to sort of keep your sanity. So, you know, this is a great outlet and I see people who, you know, have a measure of success doing this and I say, you know, if you love it and then, like I said, I don't want to get back into that whole thing, but you know, you do something positive and positive positivity will reflect back onto you and you know it uh, it definitely is you know it's the balance Daniel said but um, you know I, uh, I I just I, I just hope you guys are enjoying a little ride with me uh, I envy of all you people that live down south that get just a ride all you know most of the year long that must be wonderful. I can't even wrap my mind around how amazing that must be to just be able to hop on a bike. I get mad when I see these moto vloggers like, oh, it's so cold, it's 50 degrees. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be riding around in a tank top with the, with, in that kind of weather. Well, maybe not in a tank top because that would be safe, but you know what I mean. It's, it's, it's cold here, it's cold. I want to put some lights in my bike and give a little bit of uh, some LED pods I have to put in there. But um, I started to set it up today and just <laughs> got too cold and I got too lazy. So that's the, the next little project. And of course I have this bad boy horn that uh, small engine velocity, uh, Caesar, 
he checked his uh, check his uh, channel out. Great stuff he has. Great content there. Um, he has this beautiful horn. It's like a truck horn. It's like a wah wah. And you know, with this kind of bike, I'll say one thing about the X22 is the bike is really uh, sorry. The horn is the wimpiest little soft sounding thing. And it's like shmee shmee, and this bike like that should not have a horn like that. It's got a straight up scooter horn. I don't like that. So that's that's definitely something that um I gotta swap out of there. Just if I want to pass someone or let someone know I'm there, I'm getting cut off. You know, I want their nose hairs and eye eyebrow hairs to 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 shuffle when I hit that horn because right now. You know, it sounds like a bee in a bonnet. So that's definitely probably the next thing I'm going to tinker around with when I get a, get a, a warmer day to do this. But uh, definitely that's, that's next, on my, next on my list. I would, uh, I, would, I would definitely say that if they could do anything, would take that stock horn that they have on this bike and put a, something extra in there with a little bit of kick to it. It doesn't have to sound like a truck horn or something. This is like a, a um, one of those boat horns they put in there. All right, guys, uh, look at this. This is these gloves, these heated gloves are amazing. They're so warm. I'm gonna put a link um, below so you guys can, can grab them if you want, but they're great. It, you, you don't even need them for motorcycles. And there she goes. My Nozomi looking good. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Little frame slider action there. Those are nice. I just bolted that with a foot, um, uh, bolt there and I just bracketed inside. I got that project exhaust there with the carburetor. And you guys have seen all this stuff before. I changed, I had a scrape fairing, I changed that out. I've got the lit LED license plate with the uh, fender eliminator. A nice tank protector going in there. And I have the uh, a little grips there. The bike's just running, running real, real well. I am very pleased. Well, listen, you guys, thanks for the journey. Like and subscribe. I hope I see you well and safe through all this. All right, and everybody, you take care. We'll see you the next time around.